Morning everyone, Joe from Living to Learn. Um, just stuck to the house today on, on babysitting duty and as usual I'm doing a bit of doing a bit of bushcraft practice, woods practice while my son is taking a nap. I thought I'd jump on and, and talk a bit about knots and um, my philosophy and my way of looking at knots since they're so prevalent on the page now. Um, big shout out to Jeff Green this morning and Mo uh, last week and everybody who's been sharing information on knots in the in the sub threads. But knots are a very uh, complicated, for for a lot of people, part of what we do. But I'm a reductionist and, and I struggle with knots like the rest of, or like most people. But if you if you look at the Ashley Book of Knots, you're, I, I, I don't know the figures on what's in that, but you say it's probably close to 50, 60,000 variations on knots. Um, and I look at it in the way that um, I look at the English language. There's close to a quarter of a million words in the English language. The average human knows about 60,000 of them and it's enough to get you by. And it's the same with me and knots. I look at that book and I look at the world of knots and I see what applies most to me and I learn the ones that um, I would use on a regular basis. So I know three or four constrictor knots, I know a couple of tension knots, travel knots, hitches and so on. Um, and I thought I'd share one of them with you today Dexterity isn't something I have been blessed with um, <laughs> over the years, and some knots can be super fiddly, um, especially when you're under panic, um, if weather conditions change and stuff like that. Knots can be a really hard one to to remember and get right. Like, so I look for the simpler knots um, that that can that takes little to no dexterity and works really well under a bit of pressure. Plus I camp a lot in Scandinavia in the winter time where conditions are in the minuses and you have to wear big thick gloves or um, you, the, the, the cold can set into your hands pretty quick and those fine motor skills to tie um, really advanced knots can, can be null and void. So the one I'd like to show you today is an alternative to the old classic, the Prusik knot. The Prusik knot is a great one for um, stringing up tarps or if you're, you want to do a bit of climbing and stuff, it works under tension and slides up and down your main guy line. The alternative to this one that's a bit less fiddly and requires a bit less dexterity is the climb hoist knot, or also known as the French Prusik. Knots have many different names, but I know this one as the climb hoist knot. It requires very little dexterity and works just as well um, as the Prusik. The only difference is, is that it will only travel in one direction. Unlike the Prusik, which will go in both directions on your static line, the climb hoist will only travel in one, so it just takes a, a little bit of kind of figuring out at the start where you want your tension to be. Now a, a little tip I'd like to share, some people struggle, um, they'd get the knot right, like a clove hitch we were talking about during the week, they would get the knot right and maybe it just wouldn't work. People have commented before in my videos in the past about how I use um, paracord as a ridge line, which um, arguably isn't one of the best ridge lines to use because it stretches under tension and, and with water. But I use um, paracord as a ridge line and bank line for all my tension knots. Now bank line is great for knots because it's very bitey, a bit hard to undo, <clears throat> but a, a good knot to have. But the reason, the main reason why I do this is because those um, Prusik knots and those tension type knots are designed to work on a 50-50 a ratio. So they work best when your knot is 50% smaller than your static line. So bank line is just about, number 36 bank line is just about 50% smaller than paracord. So it bites really well because the reason why it has to be so big is because when those constrictor knots bite in, it acts like a cushion. So you get a flange when they bite into a line that's thicker than them. For my demonstration today, just so for ease of seeing it, I'm working it in the opposite direction using paracord on bank line just for visual demonstration. But that might be something worth looking at if you're finding that you're... Your, your knots are looking good, but for some reason they just ain't holding the tension that they should be holding. It's a 50-50 combination, so you always want your, your Prusik loops and stuff to be smaller than your static line. Just a little tip, but I'm going to somehow try and attach you to my chest and get this demo done. Talk to you in a minute. Hey, we're back. I got the sun on my back, so I hope you guys can see. But I set up two static lines here, just as an example of the way things bite. So we have um, a very very rudimentary Prusik knot here, but just so I can show what I was talking about in the 
differentiation between the gauges in the line. This is bank line and power cord. So power cord is obviously a, a bigger gauge line than, than, than bank line would be. And even when you, you tension down the Prusik knot really, really tight, you'll still get slippage. It's just par for the course, which is how it is. But the knot that I want to show you guys here is this bad boy. This is the climb heist knot. It doesn't look as pretty as the Prusik, but it has the same effect. You can pull that back and really wrench on that one and it is going to go nowhere. And it's very simple to dress. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly with a piece of bank line here, just so it looks a bit clearer. The first thing you want to do with the Klein House knot, here we go, is take your fisherman's line or barrel knot or just have a simple granny knot in this one and place it next to your underneath and next to your static line. And the cool thing about the Klein House knot is if you suffer from bad dexterity or the weather's cold or you've damaged your fingers, is with a bit of practice you can do it with just two fingers work around like that so let's we'll start from the beginning place your barrel knot underneath and next to your static line have a lot of length off here and a small amount off here and you wrap in the opposite direction to which you want your tension it doesn't have to be pretty you just keep wrapping until the loop at the top is about as small as you can get it like so so you end up with something that looks a bit like this. You then take the end which are not and you pass it through the upper end here. Pull it down and that's your knot dressed. You would put your toggle through here and place it on your tarp there and that will bite. You can slide it back and forth and then because bank line is such a smaller gauge it bites a lot stronger than paracord on paracord would bite. So you bite it down and you can see that that won't won't budge. Paracord will do just fine but it won't have it, it'll still slide. Your bank line won't go anywhere. So that's the very simple unimpressive Klein heist knot. I'll show it again really quickly. So you got your your knot in it. Underneath your static line, which are not next to your static line. Small bit of bite here, large bit of bite there. Wrap in the opposite direction and you want your tension. Sorry I know my camera's going in and out of focus, but we're working with what we got until you're left with a very small loop at the top and your larger loop at the bottom. Pass through and place your toggle in. Now it will not work like I was saying earlier in this direction. It won't tense down here. It will only work in the opposite. So once you wrap in the opposite direction or in the direction you want to put your tension, you're fine. You can slide it up and it will bite just as good and I would argue stronger than some Prusik knots will and you got a wider a wider arc of movement before that knot will slip so there you go guys and girls like I said the, the very unflashy very quick limited dexterity Klein house knot there's loads of good videos on YouTube um, where people use different color ropes and climbing channels and stuff I recommend checking them out if you want to see some more um, in detail <laughs> Maybe with a bit clearer instruction on how to do these do these knots. Joe from Limb to Learn.